Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 27th. It is Monday, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but today is National Visit a Zoo Day. I can't visit a zoo today because uh, it's December. <laughs> and also because uh, I would probably die walking around the zoo. <laughs> we do love to visit zoos though. We have three here in Tennessee that we visit a lot. That's the Chattanooga Zoo, the Nashville Zoo, and the uh, Knoxville Zoo. Haven't been to the Memphis Zoo because it's really far away. <laughs> we, uh, it's the one that's furthest away from us. It's like over four hour drive from here. But I wanna go there because they have an animal that I want to see in person and have never seen in person. And that is a hippo. <laughs> I've always wanted to see a hippo in like real life, you know? And uh, one of these days I'm gonna go there and see a hippo. My alarm just went off. <laughs> I forgot that that was set. Anyways, what I was saying is, I don't know if the Atlanta Zoo has hippos because it is actually closer to us than the Memphis Zoo. It's like three hours away. Um, I don't know, I've never been there. But um, yeah, so I wanna see a hippo in real life. So I made a hippo, <laughs> I tried to make a hippo. It actually looks kinda like a pig. But this is a cute little pattern that I found for free on Ravelry. It's called Flower Power Hippie, or Flower Power, Flower Power Hippo, because um, theirs is made in like hippie colors with clothes and flowers and stuff. I just made mine a solid color and uh, didn't put clothes on it. I thought about it, but then I was like, I just want a purple hippo. <laughs> but it kinda looks like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. He's got a little tail, little legs, little arms, and his little tiny ears, and a muzzle. It's quite a bit of sewing because each of these pieces are individual pieces. So there's what, two, four, six, seven, eight things you got to sew on there. And then stitch on the little mouth and uh, nose holes. And then I use safety eyes. I believe these are 12 millimeter safety eyes. And it just used a little tiny bit of yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's, um, uh, I forgot what it's called. Maybe, maybe lavender or orchid. I think it's orchid. Um, and he's got some stuff in just in his body and a little bit in his nose. I didn't stuff his legs or his arms just except for the yarn tails. I left the yarn tails in there. So I guess it's a little stuffed, but it's so cute. I, uh, sports bait yarn and I, I believe I used an e-hook because I wanted the stitches to be a little bit tighter. And, uh, I think he's cute, but he looks kind of like a pig. So he's like a hippo pig, <laughs> but he's cute. But yeah, we love supporting our local zoos because... They're a lot better now than they used to be. I know the original zoos were pretty horrible. They were like original circuses and were abusive towards animals. But the modern zoos are really helpful towards animals, especially endangered species. They help um, breed them and they also help rescue animals from private owners. And, um, you know, they can't be, once they've been in a private owner situation, they can't be released in the wild or they'll be killed because they don't know how to live in the wild. So they're able to take care of them and let them have a good life and also teach people to love animals, which is why I love the zoos and the aquariums, because we want, you know, we want our kids to love animals and take care of them and not mistreat them. So that's why we love the zoo. But, and, and actually our Nashville Zoo has some red wolves and uh, they're near extinction and they successfully bred them there. And it's really cool. We got to go, I can't remember what year it was, but Jesse was pretty little. He was like two, so it's probably 2018. When we went there, uh, we got to see the puppies. They had just had a little litter of puppies and they were so cute. And um, so it's a lot of fun to support knowing that you're helping, one, save endangered species, and two, teach other people to care about animals, to take care of them instead of um, killing them and causing them to go extinct. Anyways, that's my hippo. I'll link the pattern down below. Uh, the person who made the pattern used like a Chanel yarn, and it was really pretty. And it had little clothes and stuff. I wanted to make the little overalls, but then I just decided I wanted just a regular hippo. So there he is. <laughs> he's a little goofy looking, but I think he's cute. And I'm going to keep him. I'm going to put him somewhere. One of these days, I will see a hippo in her life. I just don't know when. I know for sure Memphis Zoo has a hippo because I went on the website. <laughs> but I can't remember if I looked at the Atlanta Zoo. I don't remember. <laughs> we need to go there. We've not been there, and it's closer to us than Memphis. I'd like to go to the Memphis one eventually, but it probably won't be for a while because it's really far away, and we're about to have a baby and all that jazz. <laughs> but, yeah, we usually do try to go to... Uh, one of the three zoos every year. Usually, sometimes we get in all three of them, <laughs> but um, we didn't get to go this year because of uh, everything going on, you know, and so it'd be nice to go to a zoo maybe next year and uh, take the baby. It'll be fun, but uh, yeah, I just love supporting them, <laughs> but I think my favorite out of the three that we've been to is Knoxville Zoo. One, because it's bigger and it's got more animals and it's just more fun to walk around, <laughs> but uh, the Chattanooga Zoo is really small, but it's still really good. And the Nashville Zoo is kind of in the middle. It's like medium sized, but it's still really good too. And my favorite animals to see at the zoo are the gibbons, which are the monkeys. And when you go to the Nashville Zoo, they're the, the first things you see. 
is the gibbons and um i just like the noises they make they make like like if you've never heard a gibbon monkey um making a sound look it up on youtube it's pretty funny it's a really loud noise and sometimes when we go there they're doing it and it's just funny but uh yeah anyways that is my national holiday for today I think that's the last one for this year, but I'm going to keep doing this into 2022. Maybe not so much the beginning of it since I will be eventually having a baby and taking care of a newborn, but I'm going to try to squeeze them in because I really enjoy making amgroomies and projects to go along with national holidays, but this is for sure the last one of 2021. So if you want to check out this pattern, I'll link it below. It's super cute and it's free, so that's always nice. And you can change up the yarn uh, weight and hook sizes to make it bigger or smaller if you want. And like I said, it does have little clothes. I know those overalls and a dress, and I think maybe a shirt-looking one. I can't remember. And, uh, oh, like a tutu, I think. And then there's a little flower. <laughs> but I can't remember everything. I will see you guys in another national holiday video sometime in 2022. But I will see you guys in another video later today. Because I'm continuing Vlogmas, even though Christmas is over, which is sad. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!